Thank you. That's an entrance. Place down. Thank you. Wow. Take a seat. Take a seat. Nice sitting down. Just sit over here. Yeah, yeah. Get yourself comfy right there. You see, you know how to make an entrance, Grace. Thank you, darling. You know, the thing is, when I say to people, I said, Grace is on the show, and everyone's excited. You're... But I think people sometimes, they're a bit scared of you in advance, or they, they, have, a, they have a very strong preconception as to what yeah. you're going to be like. So you must have to deal with that when you walk into a room with new people all the time, that this is... Well, I just do the opposite of what they expect. And what do you think they expect? They expect me to throw on the table! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, but that's it's weird it's because... Oof, my it... heart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you think mine's See, feeling? I almost much. shat myself when you got there. <laughs> but but we, kind of, we kind of want to see you do that as well. It, it's weird, isn't it? Well, then you have to pay for a front row seat. Yeah. <laughs> and then I buy me some whips and things. Yeah. OK, now do it. Okay. I, um, yeah, I can't do this all the time. I mean, you know, I'm a grandmother now. How old is your granddaughter now? She's going to be 9, 25th of November wow. this month. And she looks nothing. She has my nose. Right. She's got red flaming hair. Wow. <laughs> she looks Irish, Scottish. <laughs> 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 when we come through, through um, the airports with her, they ask if she's adopted. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Is she adopted? <laughs> well, that's no. Kind of a personal yeah. question. That's kind of a, a rude question. Well, um, <laughs> If you see her, you would ask the okay. same thing too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you now. Was she adopted? Is she... <laughs> uh, and I did she... tell my son to take a DNA test, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got Rosemary's baby. <laughs> now, so, I, if I'm not thinking, her grandfather would be uh, Jean-Paul Goud, who you were yes. with in Paris for a while, yeah. and that was a very creative period for both of you. Yes. Uh, he was uh, involved with you in creating some of your most memorable, the kind of iconic looks from that period. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is a, that's an amazing <laughs> photograph. I mean, I'm chopped up in little bits there. there. Have you still got that outfit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Well, the ass is a little bit well, flat okay, up. Okay. <laughs> you and me both, Grace. <laughs> Um, he used to cut up the photographs and yes. you would uh, and so change the imagery quite a lot. Well, I believe they said he, he you know, like what they do on the internet now, that he, he did it actually yeah. for real, wearing these... Uh, so, yeah, this was the days before photoshopping. So, yes, exactly, yeah. wearing those bifocal things with a little razor blade, jumping up uh, uh, one inch. Just to make your uh, leg a little like bit this, longer. And, yeah. you know, it used to kind of irritate me as I'd be trying to get his attention, like... I'm here, you know, I'm really hot for you. <laughs> I, can't you see? I'm over here, I'm over here. And he'd be like this. And so, you know, he was having this love affair with me in the picture. You know? <laughs> that's, that's, I can kind of, but you Can know, you understand that? Well, right? I kind of can, you know. because it's like this he could control. Oh, OK. <laughs> this. He, quite rightly, could not control. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, you've had a few high-profile relationships with other people as well-known as you. Yeah. And there was one, I remember, you were with uh, Dolph Lundgren for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, And you looked... It was know. just an amazing-looking couple. And yet it didn't end that well. I mean, when you parted company, you sort of sent him a message, didn't you? Uh, I don't remember what message. <laughs> what happened to his personal effects when you terminated... Oh, you mean... Oh, gee! <laughs> Yes, of course, but you know, whenever you snap, you don't remember after. <laughs> you know, snapping oh, is snapping. Yeah, I uh, they went in the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I'm saying. Fireplace. So, so he's closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. It's a pretty, uh, <laughs> a pretty clear message. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> oh, that's taking me back away there. But, <laughs> you know, but um, we're still really good friends. He oh, I bet. Yeah, me. I, bet you, yeah. I mean, normally when what you burn it? someone's clothes, no, they become <laughs> quite close with you afterwards. <laughs> but you know, it does well, look like you. Yeah. It's just materialistic. Yeah, and it's a long time ago now. And, so, yeah. yeah, but yeah. it's nice that you're friends. And though, I do it? like to make. I always become friends, even after war. <laughs> 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 we become friends after war. I think that's important. Now. 
there's a film out about Grace right now, and it's called Bloodlight and Bummy. It's out now. It's amazing. If you're a fan of Grace Jones, you have to go and see it. Now, tell me what the title means, because Bloodlight and Bummy, they're, they're two words which not everyone will be familiar with the meaning that they have mm -hmm. in the film. OK, well, when you're recording, there's a red light that blinks, meaning don't go into the recording room because we're recording. And, and they called it Bloodlight. So the blood light is on. <laughs> so you can't come in. Blood light is on. <laughs> and then bummy is something you get, you know, with jerk chicken, if you've ever been to... You don't have to go to Jamaica to get jerk yeah, chicken, yeah. obviously, you know. So whenever I go to get jerk chicken, I say, I'm a bummy girl. <laughs> so, so blood light and bummy. So it's the artistic bummy. side of your life and just being yourself, away from yeah, the limelight. You know, you mentioned your family, and I know you were meant to be on the show a few weeks ago, and you yeah, couldn't come on because sorry. you had a personal upset in your life, which, if you don't mind, I'll you, because your mum died a few weeks yeah, ago, didn't she? Yeah, she did, yeah. It's been a month. Yeah, that's why I'm still kind of... She would still want me to look glamorous, you know. <laughs> I know, so I'm just trying to... <laughs> Thank you. And I'm very sorry because I never cancel things. Don't be sorry. I just didn't want to come on and and be too sad and with the, the, the grieving and all that. We were extremely close. Plus, my mom is in the film. She sings in the film. She's a lot in the film. I take a Philip Tracy hat for her. It's like, oh, wow. So I said, like, Mom, I, I need to, to wait to come on with you. And... Um, and have her going, you go, girl, I'm proud of you. Yeah. And you live for me now. And that's a little crazy hat there. Uh, Thank you. Your mum's name, she was Marjorie, wasn't Marjorie, she? Marjorie, yes. And when you see the film, what well, is lovely, you do mm -hmm. see her in it and you see your relationship. I'm going to show you, this is uh, the sort of the trailer of the film, but just to give you Thank a taste you. of what it's like. This is Bloodlight and Bammy. It's out in selected cinemas now and you can watch it on our screen. The performer out there takes the risk. It's a lonely place, but it's a fascinating lonely place. I've been around the block too many times. Around the globe is more like it. Hello! I had so much rage. I'm a gypsy, please. Did you ever think that Grace would be a, a movie star? Sure, baby. Listen to me. I'm human, man. I'm human. You're the only man made me buckle at my knees. Thank you. Blood Light and Bammy, make sure do yourself a favor and watch it. It's an incredible. Uh, Idea, it really gives you a feeling of who you are as a person. Because I think a lot of people don't know that. That's the thing. We, yeah. we have this almost cartoon version of Grace Jones. Yeah, it could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, can I just show you? Here's the outfit you wore to the premiere of the film. So, as always, amazing clothes you wear. That's quite something. <laughs> that is quite something. I mean, what's, what is going on there? What, is that a hat or is it just... Is that, are you pulled well, up the shoulders? Or? I, you know, I, I just didn't want to be full frontal because my mom really, we had just buried her. And I did want to be somehow concealed, but at the same time, you could still have a peek inside, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like when I was growing up in Jamaica and I had to run for sugar around the corner and it would be no full moon and it would be really dark and, and just be bushes. Yeah. You know, so and you can imagine what's in the bush. You know? <laughs> what's so in the bush? Like, it's I'm Grace in Jones. The bush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's really lovely to have you here. You Thank are an you. amazing human being. Thank I love you. seeing you on the show, and I love uh, spending time with you. It's a, you it's a real thrill for me to have you here, and I hope everyone's enjoyed it as well. It's Thank Grace you. Jones. Thank you. So to come on the show, we've got Mickey Flanagan.